This is a very special show. Before I get to the UFOs that I'm going to show you in just a second, I'm going to tell you something very special that happened to me. I woke up this morning and I found on my Google Analytics, look at this, 1,003,313 views for The Truth is Viral. How about that? You don't talk about it. Parties. You want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. Keep this frequency clear. And now it's conspiracy. See, they've made that something that that is that is, should not be even entertained for a minute. That powerful people might get together and have a plan. Doesn't happen. You're a kook. You're a conspiracy buff. You're watching The Truth Is Viral, the only news program on the internet trusted to deliver the truth since 2008. And now. Here's your host, Mr. Bobby Powell. Welcome back to The Truth is Viral. My name is Bob Powell and I'm here at the Alpena Combat Readiness Training Center. I thought I'd bring you out here to the Combat Readiness Training Center here in Alpena to uh, tell you about one very important aspect of the story that's going on up here. Okay, people think that I'm nuts. Uh, seeing Spetsnets in the local Walmart, UFOs, explosions. The only thing is, I can prove it all, except for the Spetsnaz thing, that you're just going to have to take my word for it. And part of that proof, well, one very important part of this story, are UFOs. Okay? Now, are they extraterrestrial? No. I highly doubt it because of my own personal beliefs on the nature of UFOs. But uh, there are strange things in the sky, and I'm going to show you three videos of unidentified flying objects that were caught in the sky right above this airport. Now the first one was uh, taken by myself. I took this outside of my own house. Uh, I live not too far from the airport. And I took it on January 10th, 2012. I had heard this roaring noise in the sky. I thought that Perhaps I was hearing the, uh, the sound of trumpets, <laughs> but uh, no such luck. But I did run outside with my video camera, and this is what I saw. Okay, now, I'm not the only person to have captured video of UFOs above the Combat Readiness Training Center. Check out this video. This was taken on August 25th of 2012, and this is the classic TR-3B. A lot of people say that the TR-3B is a, a black project, a United States Air Force aircraft and that could very well be. Now, the third video, this one is a little different. It's shaped like a horseshoe, and this was uploaded to YouTube on February 25th of this year, 2013. Check this out.
Okay, so now here's where it starts to get really super weird. Okay, on June 6th of last year, 2012, there was a tremendous explosion centered right here at the Alpena Combat Readiness Training Center. This is what I was told, this, was, this is a message that was left on my cell phone by the uh, base spokeswoman. Listen to this. Hi Bob, this is Patricia calling from the Alpena CRTC and we spoke yesterday. I was following up, uh, we had a question about whatever that big boom was and I've uh, spoken to several people here on the base and we haven't been able to determine what it was either so it didn't happen here. Um, but if I do come across anything, I will let you know, and have a good day. Bye. Okay, so the Air Force denies knowing anything about it, even though at 10.30 in the morning on June 6th of 2012, there was a tremendous explosion that rocked hundreds of square miles of northeastern Michigan. I went to Lafarge, which is a, uh, a cement plant here in town. They, do, they have a quarry, and they do a lot of blasting. They denied doing any blasting. I went to NOAA to see if there was any... Uh, natural phenomena like the Seneca guns or maybe thunder you know you never know and uh, no one says nothing was going on I went to the United States Geological Survey and looked at their earthquake map no earthquake map uh, here in Alpena even though we do sit on a fault line uh, and I, I spoke with Under Sheriff Terry King of the Alpena County Sheriff's Department and he told me that he was standing in the Sheriff's Department when it shook as though the, you know, they were having an earthquake. So there is absolutely no doubt that something happened here on June 6th of 2012. Now, continuing with, continuing with the, the UFO storyline, two weeks after that explosion, somebody came up to me, somebody that lives here in town, and they told me of a UFO being engaged by US fighter aircraft over Lake Huron. Okay, now that is a, a wild story. That's a wild claim. That's something that as a, a real journalist, I could not publish unless I had something to back it up. So, I went to a site called flightradar24.com and I looked at the radar tracks from, those, from that night and this is what I found. At 8.30 p.m., about 10 hours after the explosion, WestJet Flight 713 took off from Toronto, bound for Vancouver. It's heading towards Alpena, and just before it crosses the uh, Canadian-American border over Lake Huron, it freezes in midair and then disappears. Two hours later, 12 hours after the explosion, Qatari Airlines cargo flight, the Boeing 777, identified as QTR 6059, coming over the Arctic Circle, is uh, bound for Alpena, gets about 50 miles off the coast. It's held motionless for about 15 minutes. And then it disappears. Two hours after that, at 2.46 a.m., Morningstar Flight 7070, a Boeing 757 from Toronto to Calgary, approaches Alpena airspace. And what do you suppose happens? It freezes in midair and then disappears. Now, the links to all of these original videos are in the description below this one. You can see what I saw just by clicking those links. I do not know what is going on up here, but something is going on. We've got videos of UFOs, radar tracks of airplanes disappearing. And then when I publish my story, they sick the CIA on me. You guys know who Sorsha Fall is, right? He's actually a CIA operative by the name of David Booth. And uh, he publishes this, I guess you could call it like the National Enquirer or, or even worse, the Weekly World News of the Internet, 
what he does is he takes factual stories, stories that the government does not want you to know about, and he inserts the, the true facts of what really happened into this fantastic uh, web of BS. So that anybody reading his story will look back at the original source, which in this case was me, and say, well, this guy's full of crap. Because what Sorshafal did was he took my story about the explosion and he wrote about 380 American rebels that were killed in an Obama drone strike. Okay, obviously that didn't happen. And you can watch me tear him up by clicking this link right here. I've got witnesses, I've got radar tracks, I've got UFOs on tape. I've seen Spetsnaz troops here in, in, uh, in Alpena. Patriots have been uh, terrorized, let's put it that way, by helicopters, Blackhawks, hovering 20 feet above their heads in their own backyard. You can hear a, a, a local Alpena resident talk about that by clicking this link. Now, taking into account everything that I know, training that I've had in the Marine Corps, 30 years as a journalist, and common sense, what I've seen, taking all that into account, I believe that Alpena is a staging area for a coming invasion of the United States. And I don't even think they know about it. They think they're training these guys to work with us to combat terrorism. Uh, somebody said in one of the comments below the video, well, why would the Russians come to Alpena and train with uh, United States forces? Well, duh. Just last year, they were out at uh, Colorado Springs enjoying a, a baseball game and taking a tour of NORAD. Obama's been giving the keys to the kingdom to our communist enemies. And believe me, they are still communists. Vladimir Putin is an old KGB old guard. He hates the United States. And he would just love the opportunity to be able to come in here and uh, Red Donnas. Not too long ago, at, I believe it was Fort Bragg, there were a group of uh, Russian soldiers training down there. And they were talking to each other in Russian, not thinking that anybody around them could understand what they were saying. And one said to another, these Americans are so stupid. Here they are training us to take over their country. Well, they didn't know that there was a patriot, an army puke. <laughs> Sorry, that inter service rivalry, inter -service rivalry is, is hard to uh, live down. Uh, but he heard them say this and he spoke Russian. So, uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's obvious that Obama's a traitor. He's doing everything that he can to tear this country apart. And he's letting the Russians in the back door. How all this has to do with UFOs and the explosions, mis disappearing aircraft, I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to put it together. But I'm stepping in hot water, folks. So I need you to do me a favor. I need you to spread this video, spread all of my videos everywhere you can. Okay, don't let them disappear me. You gotta get this information out there because it's really happening. And the more people that know about it, the safer I am. So put it on Twitter, put it on Facebook, put it on LinkedIn. Go down below in the, uh, the share section below this video and click share. You've got 10 different ways, 10 different social networks that you can share this on. You can put it on Reddit, Orkut, 
uh, a bunch of different other sites. Even MySpace, you can put it on there. Just by clicking one single button. You've got to share this information. And subscribe to The Truth is Viral. Do it here at bobpowell.blogspot.com, on Facebook, uh, I think at facebook.com slash the truth is viral, Twitter, same thing, twitter.com slash the truth is viral. You got to keep up with this. Because I'm at the forefront of the fight to save this republic. I am basically in enemy territory. The most important thing you can do for me, though, is keep me covered in prayer. That's, that's what I need from you. And in return, I'll keep bringing you the truth each and every week. Watch for an update on this story next week. I've got new witnesses. There was another explosion here a few weeks ago. I've got a witness that actually had property damage done to his house. And we're going to be talking to him. Thank you for watching The Truth is Viral. My name is Bob Powell. And as always, God bless. Semper Fi. And a Thank you for watching The Truth is Viral with your host, Bobby Powell. Make sure to follow The Apocalypse on Twitter at The Truth is Viral. Like The Truth is Viral on Facebook. And if you can, please remember to donate to the cause via PayPal at www.bobpowell.blogspot.com. Smack Runner, your game is through. Smack Runner, I'm talking to you. This is a very special show. Before I get to the UFOs that I'm going to show you in just a second, I'm going to tell you something very special that happened to me. I woke up this morning and I found on my Google Analytics, look at this, 1,003,313 views for The Truth is Viral. How about that? Now, the first one was uh, taken by myself. I took this outside of my own house. Uh, I live not too far from the airport. And I took it on January 10th, 2012. I had heard this roaring noise in the sky. I thought that perhaps I was hearing the, uh, the sound of trumpets. <laughs> But uh, no such luck. But I did run outside with my video camera, and this is what I saw for the Spetsnaz thing. That You're just going to have to take my word for it. And part of that proof, well, one very important part of this story, are UFOs. Okay? Now, are they extraterrestrial? No. I highly doubt it because of my own personal beliefs on the nature of UFOs. But uh, there are strange things in the sky. And I'm going to show you three videos of unidentified flying objects that were caught in the sky right above this airport. The only news program on the internet trusted to deliver the truth since 2008. And now, here's your host, Mr. Bobby Powell. Welcome back to The Truth is Viral. My name is Bob Powell and I'm here at the Alpena Combat Readiness Training Center. I thought I'd bring you out here to the Combat Readiness Training Center here in Alpena to uh, tell you about one very important aspect of the story that's going on up here. Okay, people think that I'm nuts. Uh, seeing Spetsnets in the local Walmart, UFOs, explosions. The only thing is, I can prove it all, except... <laughs> You don't talk about it. Parties. You want me on that wall. 
You need me on that wall. Keep this frequency clear. And now it's conspiracy, see? They've made that something that, that, is, that is, should, should not be even entertained for a minute, that powerful people might get together and have a plan. Doesn't happen. You're a kook. You're a conspiracy buff. You're watching The Truth is Viral.